Hello, my name is Gijs. I am the product owner of uh, Calliope. And in this presentation, I will give you a quick view of what Calliope can do. So let's dive right into it. I've already created an account and we can instantly create a company by uh, clicking the create company button over here. It's simply a sandbox, but it doesn't matter. You can also uh, create your own company if you'd like. Once the company is created, um, it will already suggest to me to create a project and a profile. So let's do that as well. Now to give you a quick overview of what we did. We have a company. Within the company, we have created a project. And in the project, there is a profile. Now going to the profile, it's already suggested to start uploading one of our supported formatters. We have a large list of formatters that we support. If you have a certain type of output that is not supported yet, please let us know. We can look into it. Often, most tools uh, support exporting their results in one of these formats. Uh, for example, JUnit XML is uh, very widely supported. Um, uh, so yeah, just let, let us know if there's something we can do for you there. Now, for this presentation, I will upload a Cucumber report that I've ready here. I can just drag and drop the file and I can start uploading. Once the file is, being, uh, is processed, it will go to the result page where it shows the whole over overview of this report. Um, right now, as you can see, it shows that everything that has been uploaded uh, is new. It gives a little tag saying that it's new. Um, um, also with this Cucumber rep report, we support assets. So if the report contains a, a screenshot, the screenshot will also be included here. Here it's a blank screenshot, but over here it contains something like that. Um, besides uploading it manually, uh, we also support uploading through an API endpoint. Uh, and of course you can implement this in your CI CD pipeline. So it can all be automated to send your reports to Calliope. Uh, for this video, I'll leave it as the manual uploading. Uh, there will be a separate video that goes more into uh, how to use the API endpoints. So having uploaded a result, now going to my project page, uh, there will be a quick shorthand view of what has changed in this report. Now I can create a new profile. Let's call it historical info. So let's create a profile and upload a bit more results um, to generate a, a bigger history. So I'm gonna select a few files and upload them separately. So as you can see here, uh, I've just uploaded seven reports in a row. So going to the report page now, you will see that here, for example, it shows a tag new failure where it can go to, and it shows a history timeline on the failure where it shows, hey, today it failed, but the uh, previous results, it passed twice and before that it failed again. So this can already indicate a flaky test. So I can just go back to restore yesterday's results. Well, here it passed. We know that. Here it shows that it was fixed because the day before, as we saw earlier, it failed. So now we can also very quickly see that the failure over here is the same failure that happened two reports later. So this can help figuring out what went wrong in the test. If the test is just being flaky, is it a valid issue or an invalid issue? Um, besides that, we also show a change tag because the fact that something failed today and failed yesterday doesn't mean it's the same failure. So we show a change tag, which is based on the exception description that's attached with the, the, the report. Hopefully this will show you uh, how the historical information is shown. So now going back to the project page, you see that we have an overview of the two different tests that we ran. Um, the, the strength of Calliope is that you can create a view over here of all your multiple tests being run. So for example, you have unit tests, uh, you have uh, 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 integration tests, but you also have functional tests and maybe also some manual tests. You can 
create a profile for each one of them and create a single overview to keep an eye on how the results are going on, for example, your test environment and uh, get a quick view on the, the uh, stability of it. And if you can release, of course. Next up, there's also an edit mode. I, I was also say I was already saying that there you can do manual tests here. Um, so what is possible in, for example, a cucumber is that you write test cases uh, and uh, you don't run them or you don't have any automation behind the test case. So those test cases can still be uploaded to Calliope and in edit mode, uh, a tester can go through them. So it's possible to say that all these tests are still unknown because they are not tested. And this way you can start a regression test um, where the tester can just go through the test cases, execute them and say that it's passed. And that way you get an overview on the progress of the, uh, of the regression test, how far it's going along. Uh, and you can quickly see if something failed, a comment can be placed uh saying this went wrong and uh, that can just be saved so this way we can you can keep track of what's going on you can see the failure find out what the failure is make a reference maybe to a ticket uh in the in the backlog uh and keep track of everything that way so besides this it's also possible to subscribe for notifications so when the profile is created, the user gets the possibility to set certain notifications. This way you can receive, for example, an email uh, when a new report is uploaded. So even though one person is sending the test reports to Calliope, all the people that are interested in these results can receive an email on what the latest status is of your test results. Um, besides these kind of notifications, it's also possible to set up your account to be a uh, Slack uh, notifier. So you can integrate Slack with the notifications and uh, add a Slack webhook. And this webhook will be called with the results of the notifications, which can also, of course, be handy when you work in a team, for example. Let's continue. Uh, right now we have uploaded a few uh, results regarding uh, functional tests, but it's also possible with us to uh, upload a security test report. Uh, we support uh, BURP uh, cybersecurity, we support Nessus vulnerability scanner, and we also support Zaproxy. There it is. Um, so for this case, I will upload a this is a proxy test result. There we go. So with the proxy, basically everything is a failure because when it finds something uh, and uh, it has a, a certain severity, uh, it means we, we regard it as a failure. Um, we include all the information that's given by Zap Proxy on what happened, why it's a problem that something failed and how to solve it. And this way uh, you can also keep track of the security of your uh, environment. Then next up, we also support uh, Fink Link Checker, which is a very basic web crawler uh, that just crawls on your uh, environment, follows a depth of 10 links, for example, um, and uh, checks if there are uh, 404 pages or 500 errors or anything that's not a 200 uh, successful response. And this can also be useful in finding that maybe there are some lost references, links that, that disappeared, something has changed with all the links. A very simple test that, uh, that can also be put into a CICD pipeline included in all your automated testing. The Fink Link Checker can quickly check uh, if all the, the, the URLs are working as expected. And then finally, we also support Lighthouse Performance Test, uh, which is a Chrome uh, plugin uh, that can check the web page speed. So it basically checks how fast that does the page load, uh, how much JavaScript is included, how big are the images, and all that kind of efficiency. Um, as you can see here, and it will it will show that the, the, there are possibilities uh, to improve the performance of your web page. 
Now, we've uploaded these different tools and you can see that the project overview becomes more and more interesting and giving more information uh, simultaneously and it should be able to give you a indication of what the status is of your environment and of course if some changes a, a deployment from yesterday uh, has broken a big part of it so this way you keep track of it uh, you keep the whole team involved in that everything is being tested developers can quickly find out if what they did broke something um, of course uh, they they, uh, they might have a lot of unit tests covering a big part of this but in the end uh, we see that in the in the once it's deployed unit tests can also miss uh, a lot of things um, so with the whole combination of this, you have a bigger chance that you will find issues before releasing. So with that note, I would like to end this uh, presentation. Um, I hope everything was clear for you. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to know, you can uh, put a message in the comment below. Also, we have a, a chat available in uh, Calliope, which you can use at any time. Just uh, uh, pop it up and ask us a question. Uh, you can see it here at the right bottom. So you can just send a message to us and uh, we'll do our best to respond as soon as possible. And finally, we also have an open Slack chat, which you can join and just join the discussion or ask questions there. Uh, you can also follow our releases over there. Um, so that's it for me for now. And uh, I hope you have a great day.